Hey there, and welcome to the project uh, in week four, which is uh, where we learned about the fundamentals of JavaScript and uh, DOM manipulation, which is another word for like changing stuff on the page. So uh, hopefully you've you've uh, watched and read through that content, or you are going to after you watch this video, and you are ready to sort of use those skills to to practice uh, in this project. So this video is just to kind of get you started. So step one, what I'll do is kind of just read through it. And the TLDR uh, is that you're going to create an interactive Mad Libs game. So if you've never played Mad Libs, you can do a little search for it. And it's the it's the game that I think it's mostly for kids. But hey, we're all we're all kids in some way or another. Um, I'm looking for the Wikipedia page here. Uh, it's a game where you start with a sentence that has blanks in it, and then you ask your partner uh, for different words that will fill in that those blanks. So you can say, like, give me a noun, and they'll say something like cat. And you'll say, give me an adjective, and you'll say something like yellow or whatever. Um, and then they'll tell you the story using your words um, to fill in the blanks of, of the story. So, um, you know, here's an example. Um, and so if you're not familiar with Mad Libs, you can, you can do a search for them and, and kind of get more familiar. But you're, you're basically filling in blanks using words that your partner gave you. And so this week's project is, is that, only instead of playing it with another human partner, you are going to make a web page that asks the user for, for words and then uses those words uh, to fill in the blanks of the story. So your partner is the is the computer or the web page. So that's the idea. Uh, and then just to get started, what I would say is I've checked out my repo here on my desktop. And so what I'm going to do is go into that, into week four DOM manipulation, and I'm going to look through these files. And so I'm going to open up in Atom. You can use whatever text editor you want. You can use Replit or, or whatever. It's all good. Let me open up the whole directory. And the way I would sort of think about this is, is reading through the existing code first. So read it line by line to, to understand what it's doing, form a mental picture in your brain, and then open it up in the web browser and, and check that, that your understanding is indeed correct and that the web page does indeed do what you expected it to do. So I'm not going to read exactly line by line, uh, but I suggest that that's what you do. Uh, but what I'm going to point out is that how this works is it has a div that has an input in it. Right now, a single input that has an ID of adjective one input, and then a button with an on-click attribute of fill outputs. Okay. And then down here, we have another div that has the ID of output. And then there's a sentence. And the sentence contains a span, which is an HTML element, HTML tag, with an ID of adjective one output. So you kind of get a sense of here's adjective one input, here's adjective one output. Maybe they are connected in some way. Um, so that's the HTML. And I would maybe check out the styles.css uh, file to notice that, hey, the output div or whatever has the output ID, in this case it is a div, that starts out with a display of none, which is how it starts out invisible. Okay, and there's a comment there explaining it. And we have some other CSS in there as well. Okay, and then the script.js file, again, what I would recommend is reading through this line by line and reading the comments to get a sense of, of what it's doing. Um, and you can do that. You know, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to do that on the video. I don't think that would be a very interesting video. But you can read it line by line to, to get a sense of, of what the code is doing. Um, then once you have the, you know, the, some familiar, familiarity with it um, in your brain, then I would open it up in your browser and, and check that understanding. So we see the div here, give me an adjective, and here's the input element, which you can see in the um, HTML, that's this element here, and then a button. So I'm going to give them an adjective, yellow, and I'm going to click done. And I see that the story pops up, and I see the yellow fox jumped over the lazy dog. And I see that here's my word, so I can maybe do it again. I'll say maybe it's red this time, and I'll click done. 
and I see the red fox jumped over the lazy dog. So the computer the, is taking the word that I gave it and inserting it into the story to, to fill in the blanks. Um, so this starter code contains one input that fills in one blank. The challenge here is that you will add four more uh, inputs to fill in five total blanks. You can do more than that if you want, um, but I'm going to grade on five. Um, so the way I would kind of get started is personally, I would probably start with this file, uh, this index.html file. You are welcome to start from scratch if you want. I know a lot of folks have, have gone that route. Um, I personally would, would start here. Um, what I would maybe do is come up with my sentence and come up with what my blanks are going to be. Um, so you need a total of five. What I would do is start with one, start with one blank. So one span that is like this, that's kind of empty to start with and has an ID and get it working with your own story. Just change the text here and then, um, you know, maybe you want a noun instead of an adjective, whatever, um, but get one word working and make sure that that works and, and check it in your browser and stuff. And um, I'll also just throw in a shout out for your JavaScript console. So open this up. I would recommend having this open the entire time you're developing and checking for errors here. Um, but get things working one at a time. And then once you have one working, repeat it and get the second one working and so on and so forth. Um, and you're going to be using the, the concepts that you that you learned about this week. So you're creating functions and you are storing stuff in variables and you are manipulating the DOM. So that's kind of the goal this week is to get practice with all of that stuff. Okay, so that's the project. That's how we get started. Uh, as you have questions, of course, please let me know. Please reach out. I am, I am here to help. So if you are feeling stuck or frustrated or uh, in over your head, uh, that's normal. Uh, honestly, this week was a big step up, and I, I just want to, I don't know, name that and, and say that if you uh, have questions and if you want more help, please, please, please reach out. I am, I am, I am here for that. Uh, but for now, I'll just say good luck, have fun, and I'm excited to see what you all come up with. All right, bye.